Here, in this class, we just want to prove this using a triangle. Okay, a right angle triangle. Okay, now um, let's call this out A, B, and C. Okay, if this is A, of course, this will be the small A. That's the side. If this is B, this will be the small B. And this is C, this will be the small C. Now, if I say sine of sine theta or sine D, sine theta here, which is sine D, will give me opposite, which is B, over hypotenuse, which is C. Then, cos theta, which is cos B, C is as cos B, will give you adjacent, which is A, over hypotenuse, which is C. Okay, now, having known this, that was the first step. The second step is, let's, we want to try to make uh, the hypotenuse 1. Now, to make the hypotenuse 1, you decide to divide by C, so you also divide this by C and divide it by C. Now, C divided by C is 1. So this is 1, this is B over C, and this is A over C. Now, B over C, you already know that B over C is equal to what? Sine theta. So we could say this is the same thing as what? Sine theta. Then A over C is the same thing as cos theta. So that is, this is the same as what? Cos theta. So uh, from using your Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem, we know that the um, opposite squared plus adjacent squared equals to hypotenuse squared. Okay, now the opposite square here is um, this is the opposite square is sine theta squared, then plus adjacent, this is the adjacent, uh, cos theta squared equals to hypotenuse, which is 1 squared. So another way of writing this is this, as sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 squared is 1. Perfect. Thank you. God bless.